sick, you know, it's just crazy adventures. So today we're um, going to do, view the wall dogs. And this is the first one right here. Founders and Temperance Beginnings, Phoenix Bros. So what is this picture is about? This, to, this is, talks about, in 1836, brothers Henry and Cole Samuel Phoenix came to the Wisconsin Territory from New York, the final location to establish the Temperance Colony. Okay, so that's what that is. That's location number one. I, I guess that was Delavan a while ago. That's crazy because it's a rattle. Walmart uh, was reformed in 2015. Yeah, because that's a timber rattler, which which is in Wisconsin, and there's him doing that. I, I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be in Delavan, so yeah. All right, guys, we'll be back in the next one. As we're, we're to the next painting, but just a little history before we do. So the wall dogs, if you didn't know, they're like a painting group that go all around the world, or at least the United States, doing paintings, and somehow they went here, June 24th to 28th. I remember when they were painting all of these paintings. Um, I even had my, like my hand, my handprint um, on one of the ones in Wildman, because that's when I went to Wildman. So it's yeah. pretty cool. There's a bit of history you can read, uh -huh. and just uh, some more, more facts and. Now Zach's gonna tell you about All this right. painting right here. Location number two is Elmer Garden, the Old Barn Studio. History. Elmer Gardner was the owner of the Old Barn Studio in Delaware. A talented artist, he was known for his commercial artwork and more known locally for designing iconic business signs. And and I think I remember that restaurant when it was still open. It was pretty it was pretty cool. So here we are. Here we go. Yeah, so that's a pretty some pretty cool history. And now, what is the third location, Zach? The third location is on Second Street, so we'll see there. All right. Now we're down to the other painting. All right. This is location number three at the American Legion Post 95 and Delvin and Rotary history. Delvin has always been a proud supporter of our military and never fails to remember those who gave their lives for our freedom. Delvin is home to American Legion post number 95 and VFW post number 10173. So basically, they are tributing. It's called Tribute to the Military, which I think is really good because. Yeah, and by the way. This is respecting everyone in the service. If you, as a low gift to them. If you can't say. Tribute. If you can't see all of this, it says Army, Marines, and Navy, Air Forces, Coast Guard, which is all the yeah. different um, sections of the military. And it says, all gave, some, all, some gave all. Which is all true for and some gave all. yeah, which is true for like all soldiers and whatever. Um, this is especially celebrated during Fourth of July and Memorial Day weekend. Yeah. Uh, and by the way, guys, <laughs> uh, Fourth of July parade, but that's it's a long time. Coming up in yeah. A little under a month. Yeah, and Make some sure fireworks. So yeah. All right. What's the next one, Zach? The next one is on two. I'm looking. Is the next one's on 3rd Street, so we see you there. Alright, okay, so now we're at the fourth Remember? location. Hold up. Birthplace of the P.T. Barnum Circus. I bet you, you guys have heard of this wherever you are. That's a very popular, like, circus the chain or whatever. The circus was conceived and organized in Delaware by William C. Cobb and Dan Gillespie. Using various titles for several years, it eventually became known as the greatest show on earth. Yeah, so, like, this is, like... Very popular circus, I bet a lot of you guys know this. It was originated, well, one of their like rest stops or whatever, or like homes for Delvin the for the for the winter the was Delavan. Yeah, supposedly. So yeah, it's too too bad this is not really around anymore. The PT Barnum Circus because of uh, political surrounding kind of political issues. But um, yeah. All right, what's the next one, Zach? Next location is at Family Dollar. All right, we'll see you there. Okay, so now we're at the location fifth location. Wisconsin, Wisconsin School for the Deaf. Established. School for the Deaf beginning starts in 1852 with Benzer. It's an old building. Delavan with his family, which indicated, which included his daughter Adriana, who was deaf, and her teacher. Other local deaf children joined the classes, promoting local businessmen to pension the government for a state school. Basically, this is a school for the deaf. Like that—that that is not the building them. currently. That is uh, that was very old. The that was the first building. And so these people established it. I, of course, I've—I've I've never heard of these people. Um, but here's a bit more history. 
you can pause the video right now if you want. All right, there you go. And uh, yeah, the Wisconsin do school for deaf. It's the only deaf school in Wisconsin, guys. Yeah. So, like, probably a lot of deaf kids and students or teachers or whatever go there. Yeah. And yeah. So, what's the Stay next location? For location six across the street. All right. We'll see you there. All right. So now, this. Lloyd Wright and E-Township Is yeah, Lake Geneva, Lake Delavan, the Echo. Designed several residences and businesses in Delavan and around Delavan Lake. Businesses designed by Mix are long gone, but the Mix design home of age alliance still remains. The Yacht Club that Wright designed was raised in the early 1900s. Five Wright designed homes um, earlier, and they still exist today around Dalvin Lake. So, All right. So, I actually like the Oven Yacht Club still exists. It'd yeah. probably be a fun place. We don't to know when it. And a good. We don't know yeah. when it ended, but it, I think it'd be a good competition to like Geneva Yacht Club if it still exists. Yeah, and Frank Lloyd Wright is, a, I think, a pretty famous designer. Yeah. Some of you guys might know him, and yeah. So and next that location house is the Alliance. Still exists. Oh, there. it's it's right over there. You can't see it, but yeah. You you probably saw it in some of our episodes, guys. But um, yeah. So we'll be back with the location by the post office. Yep. Not very far from here. So bye for now. Bye for hey, what is this now? Location seven is the Circus Stamp and Gordon Yarden. In 1966, the Postmaster General announced. That the American Circus stamp wouldn't be would be released from the Delvin, Wisconsin post office. This hunter occurred because that then postmaster Gordon Yarden applied for it. Some Summers, New York, who did not complete an application by the deadline, took great offense and challenged Delvin's circus legacy. Because of their own deep circus history, Summers was allowed to un unveil the stamp. So here's the stamp, guys. That's a circus stamp. Still available to be for purchase in the front office. Yeah. So yeah, I really don't know anything about this. So here's what that is. It's controversy probably a while ago, 19 oh 1960s. Yeah. So yeah, that guy died pretty recently too. Yeah. All right. So we'll see you at the next location, which is around the corner. All right. Bye for now, guys. This is Zach. Location eight has to be the Van Weisler. Cigar Company. Wrong location. We're at the Longo. We're at the Longo location. It doesn't matter. We don't have to do everything uh, in order. Okay. Just um, tell them about nine it. Location nine is Red Devils semi-pro football team. Wow, I didn't know they Delvin had that. Delvin was the home to the semi-pro football team that Red Devils over three years, 1919 to 1931, 1947 to 1956, and 1967 to 1982. They accumulated a total of 249 wins, 132 losses, and 20 ties during their entire history. In the early years, they played at Springs Park and later Veterans Field. So, they used to be a baseball team that played at Veterans Park. Uh, no, that's a football team, Zach. For football, I mean, they used to be a football team that played at Veterans Park and Springs. And yeah. They, I guess they were good. So, what is the next location? Next, That's after the post office. The next location is somewhere across the street. Alright, we'll see you then wherever that is, which I think it's over there, so bye for now. Right, so this is the cigar company that used to be a Delavan. Van Velzer Cigar Company. The Van Velzer Cigar Company was established in 1877 by brothers Washington and Ferdinand Van Weisler and was in business for almost 70 years. During this peak period, they produced over a million handmade cigars annually. One of their logos was a cigar, a smile, make life worthwhile. So this was before cigars were outlawed. They used to sell them. Cigars were never outlawed. I thought they were. No. But, uh, yeah. Cigars were never outlawed. Smoking was never outlawed. It's not outlawed. Oh. Like, yeah, I don't know what you're talking about, but here it is. Now we're halfway through, and this is location 10. Location 10, Early Industry, uh, by Micro Precision Inc. Three of Delvin's first industries were the windmill and pump factory that started in 1861 by Trumbaugh Thomas. Thomas. Bradley Knitting uh, Company, that's number 11, not yet. Oh. Bradley Knitting Company was born in 1904 by the failed Globe Knitting Company, and Sato Wright, founded in 1934 by William C. Heth, then president of the A.O. Smith Corporation. Okay, 
Station Eleven is, the, is also the, another early industry um, by Community Mural. Herb, Urbandale Dairy was founded in 1921 by Robert Walker. Industry changes have pushed to partnership with Dean Foods in 1942. Bakery, Baker Lumber started by the D.T. Baker in 1871 in Elkhorn and moved to Delavan 10 years later. Barker Lumber was sold in 2015 to Home Lumber of Whitewater Moscow Screw Company, started in 1950 by Arnett Moser and became Micro Precision, which still operates to this day. Alright, cut. Well, no, no, we have one more. We have more. Well, how about Moser Screw Machine products? That's part of the same thing. Oh, uh, okay, then we'll be back of location 12. I don't know why you say cut all the time, but what's location 12? Location 12 is at Bay Model Hotel. Alright, we'll see you there. All right, what are we on to Number next? Number 12 is the Delavan Art Colony. Delavan was the birthplace of several talented artists, including William Thorne, Adolf Schultz, and Frank Dudley. It is believed that it was their association with the Art Institute of Chicago that led them to begin summer sketching classes in Delavan around 1892, taught by John Vanderpoel. These talented producing classes ended around 1920. Oop. I'll get that later. Uh, Number 13. This Francisco Vargas. Oh, yeah. By the Delvin, Wisconsin community. I also think it looks like my dad. What do you think of it specifically, though? I think it's specifically a bit looking like my dad. Alright. Uh, it um, kind of does, actually. This mural is dedicated to the memory of Francisco Vargas, 1951 to 2015, an award winning artist and muralist from Francisco, California. 2014, he created the largest painted mural stamp in the United States. Cisco was co-project -pro leader for the Rodriguez Brothers Potato Farm mural for Delvin's June 2015 Wall Doctor. Shortly after painting this mural, he was diagnosed with emphomia and died September 7th. Delvin was the last community that Cisco painted with the Wall Dogs. This mural Mir uh, this memorial mural was e executed by a host of Cisco's friends during the Marshall, Illinois 2016 Wall Dog event. Alright, we'll be back right across the street. Yeah. Oh, yeah wait, that's right there. Whoa, 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 wait. Well, before we get there, guys, I want to just show you a bit closer. If you go a bit closer in here, it has people's names yeah. signed here. There, you got the okay. thumbs up. And then one more over here. If you can't see that. And then some more names, yeah. and then there's a bunch of names right there. So that's location right. 13, and this, right across the street, is location 14. Rodriguez Brother Potato Farm, uh, by Lubick Gallery and Gifts, and, and the VFW Post from earlier, and the friends and family of Laurel and Luis Rodriguez. Uh, Laurel Slim and Luis Rodriguez came to Delvin as migrant workers with their family each summer. One of the families they worked for, uh, the Daniels, offered them the opportunity to share coke, which led them to produce the farm in 1953 and growing it to 2,000 acres. So there it is. That's their potato farm, whatever. And yeah. Now we're going to see you across the street at Noble Insurance. All right. We'll see you then. All right, guys. So the like, rest of the locations, except this last one, are by the location. Or by the highway, by the location, yeah. that's weird. But um, yeah, they're by the highway, as you, can, as you can see there. So we can't go to those four other locations, I'm pretty sure. But five. we will... Five. Five, loca or five locations. Six. Though. Yeah. No, five. That was, that was location 14, and this is location 15. Yeah, and it goes through 20. Yeah, so we can't go to the six, other five... Six locations. We, so we can't... No. One, no. two, three, four, five, six. No, we're going to visit 15, though. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Is, oh, you said 15 is by the Invalical Church or whatever, right? Yeah. All right, so we're gonna go to that location, but we and so we couldn't visit 15 locations. The other five locations. Sorry yeah. about that, guys. Just by the highway. So we'll be back with the um, last location for us. So bye for now. Right. Last location. Yep. Eaton time. Wait, what? Country out of Wait, say it again. Eaton time by Current right. Country Auto Group. This iconic local drive-in was opened in 1946 by the Plu and Benson families on 7th Street and gained an excellent reputation for their good food and friendly family service. It is now a pizza joint, as you can see. But it used to be that. But it used to look like that. It's a good restaurant. I think I was there once when I was really small. No, no, it was, it was only open until 1990, so it oh. wasn't.
Okay. I must be thinking of a different restaurant. Yeah, so that's the last location for hope us. Hope you all enjoyed. Stay tuned for more NSF, y'all. And we'll see you probably with the Zed Studios video tomorrow. tomorrow. Uh, but not a ZNA video tomorrow. We'll see you on ZNA on Wednesday. But we'll all see you with Dylan maybe tomorrow. Wednesday. Yeah, maybe Wednesday. And maybe Tuesday, probably Tuesday. We'll see you with... Dylan, Zach, yeah. and we me. We don't really like to schedule that much because we never know if yeah. other stuff was going to So this will probably happen, but right, yeah. So we'll probably see you tomorrow, guys, and peace. Peace.